The Timeline of a Gathered BLM Horse. In this video, we'll explore how the United States government manages the wild horse population. The Bureau of Land Management, or BLM, is part of the Department of Interior and is responsible for the management and conservation of over 245 million acres of public lands, mostly in the Western United States. BLM was created in 1946 by the merging of the General Land Office and the Grazing Service. The agency's mission is to sustain the health, diversity, and productivity of public lands for the use and enjoyment of present and future generations. This mission includes responsibility for a wide range of activities on public lands, including grazing, mining, energy development, recreation, and conservation. The agency is also responsible for managing wild horses and burrows living on those lands. As of 2023, there are approximately 85,000 wild horses and burrows under BLM's jurisdiction. BLM says that number is triple the amount the land can actually support, especially after other legal uses are included. To control the wild horse population, BLM manages horse gathers, or roundups, these operations are meant to prevent overgrazing and protect habitat and local wildlife while maintaining healthy herd levels. Once gathered, BLM holds the horses in government-funded corrals or feedlots before they are put up for adoption. In 2023, it cost federal taxpayers approximately $78 million a year to fund BLM's wild horse facilities and management programs. To relieve some of these costs, the agency established the Adoption Incentive Program in 2019. The program was designed to encourage the adoption of wild horses and burrows that had been removed from public lands by BLM. Adopters who provide a home to an eligible wild horse or burrow are given a financial incentive of $1,000. The goal was to incentivize buyers after years of dwindling adoption rates and overcrowded facilities. BLM says, by placing more wild horses in good homes, there are fewer on public lands and in their holding facilities, ultimately saving taxpayer dollars and managing Western ecosystems. In recent years, BLM's wild horse management methods have been a topic of controversy. Opposition to the roundups come from various groups, including animal rights activists, horse advocates, and some Native American tribes. The groups argue that these methods are inhumane, cruel, and often lead to the mistreatment and death of wild horses. Additionally, some BLM critics argue that the agency favors the interests of ranchers and the meat industry, who also use these public lands. They argue that BLM should adopt more sustainable and humane approaches to managing wild horse populations, such as fertility control measures and habitat restoration efforts. Critics also argue that the Adoption Incentive Program lacks oversight, and the financial payout is merely incentivizing kill buyers to purchase through the BLM. This year, BLM reached a record number of wild horses in their holding facilities. The Adoption Incentive Program is deemed a success as adoption rates have nearly doubled since the program's launch. But, without clear oversight, kill buyers can continue to manipulate the program.